gotten a little crazy when it comes to stickers, y'all. I have purchased these wash day stickers that are so cute. She was very slow in getting these to me. So I won't be shouting out her Etsy show, uh, excuse me, store because, sorry, I didn't even want to show that. Yeah. Um, okay, good. So anyway, some of these I could use. Some of these I won't be using. Like, I don't do henna treatment. I don't do color. And then I have some... Um, uploading editing that I got from another Etsy shop but look at these cute stickers now this sister I think hers is called melanin I will be putting everything below in the description box I love these isn't this cute cleaning so what I like to do is have any stickers that I want to add already out and then I go ahead and place them here got a little crazy with some washi but this stuff was very very cheap 99 cents nothing was over three dollars um yeah, got a couple of these I got from the dollar store. These sheets I got from the dollar store, Walmart, 88 cents. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start placing everything on here that I know I have to do. This is what the month looks like decorated. <laughs> Isn't this cute? <laughs> but I don't get too crazy. What what gets crazy is when I have to move stuff around, which I really unfortunately ran into last week. Oh this God, thing back on the charger. Board. All right, y'all, this is what I have. I did uh, my lunch. Oh, yeah, I'll be so glad when I get my old camera back. Oh, my lunch with Miss Sheriff Hey, uploading a vlog for you guys. Um, You'll get your old camera back. I will, baby. Editing this. Yeah, just, I'm not going to go over there everything, but this is just what I did. Um, yeah, these are those wash day stickers. They're very small. No, we're waiting for the ice cream truck. Did the ice cream truck take debit cards now? You don't know. If I don't hear it again, that's it. I'm gonna be making a chicken parmesan pasta soup. I got this recipe from Cooking with Claudia, so I will be linking her channel down below. I'm gonna be starting off with sauteing my vegetables, the onion, the garlic. Here, you'll see here in just a second in my new Dutch oven. Adding my crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, wine, and seasonings. Letting it simmer for about 15 minutes. And then I cook my chicken on the side. You'll see here in a minute, I actually added some Cajun seasoning to my chicken also. Pour that into the uh, tomato mixture. Added my pasta here. Added some water, some chicken stock. I allowed that to simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes. Add some parsley and that is it. This is so good, you guys. I ended up adding some cheese on the side here. My husband doesn't really eat cheese, so I added some to my plate. But typically you would add any type of cheese that you want. Of course, Parmesan, mozzarella, um, you could pop this back in the oven or just keep it on the stove top. And let me tell you, the next day, this is even better. And this is what my finished plate looks like. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is going to be a Sunday, Monday vlog. I'm not doing vlog. I mean, you can't tell by now, girl, but we'll be uploading at least two to three times, minimum two times a week for vlogs. Um, girl, shout out to Kai. Kai Jewelry from uh, Instagram. I had just posted, y'all, let me tell you something. <laughs> so much has happened, y'all know from my last vlog. Uh, I purchased a sage cleansing kit this morning. I'm not playing around, because last night I'm cooking and I noticed one of the burners is cooking too high. It's, the food is way too hot. You know, it's, it's cooking too fast, which you don't want that to happen, especially if you cook well, you, you don't want that have to happen for multiple reasons because your food could be done on the outside and not done in the inside. So I'm like, are you serious? My stove now, the temperature is off. Just one of the burners on the top. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Now, now you really messing with me. This is what I posted on my on my Instagram. I'm like, okay, now you really messing with me. No, you messing with my food now. So I purchased a sage cleansing kit. And when it comes in, I am going to cleanse our house. But back to Kai, she told me that, um, she mentioned that we're in the middle of one of those Mercury uh, retro uh, Gatorades, whatever the hell you want to call them, where the entire universe will, will mess up. And it aligns with sometimes with your sign, um, your weeks can be off. And a lot of people apparently had technical issues last week. Oh, I'm like, well, that, that could be it too, girl. So yeah, um, right now I'm dropping off JB for school. It's Monday, like I said, and work is so, so. I went ahead, y'all, and put in two more days off for of work because his teacher sends a message today saying she's going to be off next week. 
she's starting her vacation on the 13th and then won't be back until after the winter break and their winter break lasts for two weeks so the teacher's going to be out from december 13th through january 9th i'm like okay then, so that then i'm gonna have to be off you're gonna and then jb's gonna be out for two weeks and so i'm like okay i need to take some days off so i took the 20th and 21st off of course we have christmas and the day after christmas off work is going to be relatively slow hold on y'all oh y'all when i tell you it is cold it is 40 degrees and it is windy so that makes it cooler my low battery is on now i know what the sound is y'all at first when it would go off i thought I need to stop watching all these dang on uh, shows. I was thinking, oh my God, someone am planting a bomb in my car. Um, it is cold, and I don't know, maybe because I'm old school, but I make sure my baby is wrapped up. He's like, I don't want to wear no long sleeve shirt. I'm like, you're going to wear a long sleeve shirt, and you're going to wear your jacket, and we're going to put your hood on, and I got gloves for you. I see some kids up here, young kids, with... What is she doing? She gonna box me in and I'm trying to get out. Yeah, nah, we don't do that. My baby stays wrapped up. So anyway, y'all, um, yeah, the teacher is gonna be out. So with her being out, I'm like, let me go ahead and, cause I was gonna make uh, <clears throat> goodies for the kindergarten class just the teachers teachers in general so i'm like well hell if she's going to be out then maybe some of the other teachers are also going to you know take out take off some days like y'all let me call y'all back when these people ain't driving crazy in front of me hey y'all hey so i am here at um just got finished having lunch with my friend miss sharpay we had so much fun y'all we were there for two hours girl <laughs> but i have my work phone on me and the good thing about um our system is that i can access my system through um everything through my phone and nothing came in so i was checking it every 30 minutes and she works from home too she's from sell in sales and i hadn't seen her in so long y'all so i took her to well we met up at a restaurant um that we've been there before and just catching up and she told me how you know she's no longer with the guy that she's been dating so while we're there and the one waitress i was telling you guys about i've mentioned before that he likes to flirt girls so i let him know i'm like look oh you you into asian girls oh no this is what i said this is what i said i said my friend here she's single she's in, you know close to your age she knows how to cook she's traditional now that i'm married um yeah none of this is going on so you know what this fool said i'm still holding out on you i said go ahead and give me my bill go ahead and give me my bill y'all I to start hanging out with my friends more often y'all that is going to be one of my goals for 2019 definitely is to just hang out with my friends more often and she's like you know she's like we should hang out more often um because i hadn't seen her since the last time i saw her i met her at papa Do's, and jb was around five or six months old yeah jb was a baby because she was holding him i remember that and jb peed all over me child okay but what i did is i did stop by this wig store which is still is owned by the same family or the same people right um to say hi to a woman who i've been stopping by here every so often like over the course of the past i don't know seven years i've been stopping by to try to say hi to her and I mean, that's a lot five years and i was like i finally could stop by and she was here and she's like oh honey honey hi oh honey your hair <laughs> Because, yo, I I would buy my, then I was shopping here because I would buy my wigs here. She would help me to fit on my wig, to fit my wigs on. Um, she was like, your hair, she's like, you have good hair, even when it was that short. She was like, you have good hair, you have pretty, pretty great hair. I'm like, girl, I'm not no damn horse. Great she's an hair. older Korean woman. She's always been very, very sweet. Um, the reason why I really liked her, not the one that owned, because I know they're, they're, they are a part of the same family. I'm not trying to generalize people, but the same family owns the wig store and the hair store. But whenever I would purchase a wig, she would give me something free. I was, I was like, hell yeah, she would give me jewelry. Because she was like, you're so classy, which we all know what that means. I'm going there to speak. I'm not speaking your stereotypical vernacular English. 
black English, I should say. I mean, I'm not hood. I'm not from the hood, y'all. I'm country, but I did not grow up in the hood, quote unquote, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't act like your average hood black female that she's used to. So when I go in there, she was like, oh, you're so classy. Oh, let me give you something. I'm like, okay, girl, whatever, whatever. You know, you got a bracelet. Give me, give me your raggedy ass bracelet. But anyway, I stopped by to say hi to her, y'all. It's so funny what five years would do. Five, just five or six years and not seeing someone how different they look i was like hi how are you doing i said girl i have had a baby she's like oh you had a baby <laughs> so i used to be y'all i was a chubby what's going on around here is that a dog child does she got a dog in a buggy y'all y'all does she got a dog i'm not gonna show it she got the thick yeah i put the plastic on here without realizing i don't think i showed you the finished product so we have snickerdoodles here. I made these a little bit bigger. Made about 15 of these. I had a box of regular sugar cookie mix. I had it. So look. So look, you guys. Like I told you before, I always keep stuff in my cabinet. So I had just been slowly but surely um, collecting cookie doughs and the mixes. But I still have stuff in there. So I decided to make everything I had. And this is what I came up with. I have about, I have a dozen of snickerdoodles. I had a um, box of just regular sugar cookie mix, but then I added toffee that I had in there. Really, really good. Um, then we have, I know you really can't see this. I have M&M brownies, and then I have regular fudge brownies with caramel sauce on it. Girl, so I like to really pimp up these cake mixes or brownie mixes, cookie mix mixes. Even though it says oil, I always use butter. Real 100% butter, excuse the background. Um, because all it needs is a fat. And I always add one tablespoon of vanilla to everything. So yeah, three sticks of butter between all of this. So this is for all of the teachers at JB School. <sighs> I figured there's enough here for about 40, 50 people. I don't know how many teachers are there. And the reason why I did it early is because a lot of people are going to be taking vacation soon. So yeah, you guys, this is it.